video, I'm going to show you how to perform a venting puncture using a butterfly needle. And, um, and so uh, remember to identify your patient, check for allergies, and assemble your supplies. Um, okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is um, take a tourniquet and I'm going to place it, remember, three to four inches above the puncture site. And butterflies can be used anywhere in the arm, not just in the back of the hand. So we're going to just use the back of the, uh, we're going to use the uh, bend of the arm. So again, fill for a vein. Once you find a vein and you've established the center, the center of the vein, the depth of the vein, and the direction, we're going to go ahead and clean using small to larger circles. So take your first cotton ball and wipe from the small, and make sure these are nice firm wipes, not really um, soft wipes. They have to you know, break up the debris and clean as best as we can. In the meantime, we're going to go ahead and uh, prep this butterfly needle. So we're going to take the butterfly, uh, take the little band off. Uh, with the butterfly, you always want to unkink your line, so just kind of stretch it. Don't tear it, but just stretch it. And you're going to place the male adapter into the lure. Okay, make sure it's nice and tight. Make sure everything's pressed in so that it doesn't leak. Uh, once that's done, I'm going to take and place the needle back into the little sterile packaging there. And I'm going to put the tourniquet back on. Remember that once you find the vein to landmark where it is, because once you've prepped it, you can't touch it again. So I, obviously with this vein, I can see it. Okay, we're going to take our first tube. We're going to place it on the back end. Don't push it all the way through, just place it on the back end. We're going to pull this, um, the wings together, and then uh, with one hand, we're going to hold the wings with the thumb and index finger. With the other hand, we're just going to pull that cap off and just set it down. Remember that the bevel has to be facing up. If your bevel is not facing up, then just turn your wings the other direction. Okay, we're going to approach the vein. Remember, much like an airplane approaches a runway, we're going to approach the vein. Pull the skin back tight. Approach the vein. Warn the patient. Ma'am, you're going to fill a stick in one, two, and three, and just drop it in. You'll see a nice flash of blood right here on the tubing, which tells you you're in the vessel. And go ahead and pop your tube in. You don't have to fill it up, but we're going to pull the one tube out. You can see that we've got blood. While we take the second tube and pop it in, use the flange to steady your tube as you push the butt end of your tube in. Right? So just a small flow of blood and we're good to go. At this point, you can actually set down the adapter, pull your tourniquet, and we're going to grab one cotton ball, pull, uh, you can grab the tail if you'd like, the tail, pull the needle out, apply pressure, and then immediately separate hands. With butterflies, you want to make sure that your, uh, your hands are separated from each other because if you're going to get stuck with the needle, it's usually with the butterfly. So I'm going to take these wings and pull them back together, pull, push the wings up while I hold the tubing down until I hear that little click. Okay, then I set my needle down. Grab the adapter, direct the needle into the sharps, drop the needle in first, and then the adapter behind it. Okay? And then if the tubes need to be inverted, invert them, and then label your tubes with the patient's name, the date, and the time of draw. Okay, thank you.